Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back. So today I wanted to show you some of the best VPNs that you can use for Apple TV. Now, all you have to do to set up Apple TV with VPNs now is simply download it on your Apple TV store. Now, previously ExpressVPN and NordVPN did not have that kind of support, but at this point they do. So I've selected these basically as the top two options for Apple TV. Again, it's incredibly easy to set it up. All you have to do is go to the Apple TV store, look up ExpressVPN or NordVPN, download them. Of course, you can use the links below to save up on your subscription if you would like to save some money and after that you can use your credentials log into the application connect to a server and you'll be good to go from there now of course you still have surfshark as an option but this is just a side option that i decided to include today in case you would like a vpn that allows you to secure virtually an unlimited number of devices with just a single subscription unlike nordvpn's six device limit and expressvpn's eight device limit not just that surfshark is also super budget friendly so so you're not really going to be spending much with this VPN. But the only caveat is you have to set it up on your router. And this is not a complicated process at all. It's just that Apple TV doesn't natively support the Surfshark VPN app. So in this case, you just have to set it up yourself or with a smart DNS. So essentially, you'll just have to do a little bit of setting up to get it done. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you just want to get going as soon as possible, then I would just recommend the two best VPNs for Apple TV. And that'll be, again, Express and Nord, simply because you can download them and they have a lot of countries. So obviously, on your Apple TV, you want to access different libraries, streaming libraries, Hulu, Amazon, Disney Plus, whatever it is. And you can do that with Express and Nord. Express has 105 countries available in the roster here and NordVPN with 111 countries. Previously, it was just 61, now at 111. And this makes this list of countries basically the biggest list out of all the other VPNs. Now, as far as which one to go for, if you want something that is incredibly easy to use and is just overall very consistent and reliable, just go with ExpressVPN. But if you're looking for something that offers more features, even more countries, well, just six more countries, but that's still something. And you're prioritizing speed over everything because NordVPN is arguably the fastest VPN in the market. And it's not that much faster than Express though, but it is still the fastest. I would say Express is about five to 10% slower at worst. So if you're looking for a well-rounded option that offers a lot of features, again, Nord is a great choice. ExpressVPN is the best overall and most reliable and consistent, especially when it comes to accessing streaming services, and Surfshark will be the best budget option. Now, be careful when going for the packages because I've asked ExpressVPN out of curiosity, and they mentioned that a lot of people end up spending more money on the monthly plan than going with the yearly plan. And that's because people often think they're not going to need the VPN for longer than a month, and they end up using it for more than a month, and it just keeps resubscribing to this very expensive monthly rate. So if you want to save money in the long term, it's definitely better to go for a six month or a 12 month plan, especially with this discount, you'll find it below, you'll be able to save a whole lot more. Otherwise, if you know you're just going to need the VPN for just a month, then definitely go for that. And there's a 30 day money back guarantee either way, if you end up changing your mind. So that is basically it for this video. Comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.